My name is Barry Turner and my book is called The Berlin Airlift, a reconstruction of events of 70 years ago when the city of Berlin was saved by one of the most extraordinary relief operations ever mounted. A relief operation that was exclusively by air, bringing in over two million tons of food and other essential supplies to West Berlin. The circumstances in which this happened were odd to say the least. At the end of the war, Europe was divided between the Western Allies, America, Britain and France, on one side, and the other side dominating most of Eastern Europe, and half of Germany, East Germany, was the Soviet Union led by Joseph Stalin. But the curious thing was that Berlin, which was also split between the Western Allies and the Soviet Union, was actually in East Germany. And the only way of getting to Berlin, the Allies' way of getting to Berlin, was by road or by rail or by air. Stalin thought it might be a huge propaganda victory if he could drive the Allies out of Berlin. This he did by cutting off road and rail transport across the eastern zone. The only way of getting supplies into Berlin were by air. But so many people thought that this was absolutely impossible. We're talking about the early days of air transport. Radar wasn't fully developed, for example. Every available aircraft was brought in from America, from Britain, uh, to supply the city. One of the most dramatic images you can see of Berlin at that stage was literally the queue of planes waiting to come into Berlin and waiting to take off again to go and get further supplies. We're talking about the days when America led the free world. Now, today, well, perhaps that's in doubt. And one should read, I think, something like the Berlin Airlift to know the achievements of American leadership in the past. One hopes for American leadership in the future.